Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everyone had a good night's sleep. Everybody's in good energy today. Um, we're doing a collective reading and we're gonna see what wants to come out, what the spirit and the divine need us to know at this time, what's important here. Now, you're gonna know if something is past, present, or future, okay? Not every message will resonate with your story and that's fine, okay? Take what resonates. If it's not your story, then maybe check out a different reading, okay? So let's see here, guys. What is going on today? What does the collective need to know today? What's our message here? Holy angels, what is our message here? What's the message? Let's see. Five of Wands at the bottom. Okay. Nice, so we have an Empress here. We have an Empress who's in her age of abundance, okay? We got pre-Empress energy and then we have Empress. So this is someone that's growing something right now. This is, maybe you could be um, working on your career, you're working on your abundance, you're working on your success. You're growing, expanding, you're blooming and blossoming, okay? Yeah, you could be going towards a lot of success here and something is coming up in the future or you're planning your future. You're making future plans, you're, um, you're crafting something maybe, you're cultivating, okay? Hmm. Looks good, looks good. Libra Taurus energy here. This is something about the future or your plans for the future or some sort of success, okay, coming towards you. Maybe some like career opportunities or something like that. Something is growing, something is expanding. Hmm. But I feel like it's just coming naturally to you, okay? What's that Empress? Why is that here? The Magician, yeah, you're manifesting. <clears throat> you're manifesting. Ah, oh, started so nice. Why, spirit? Why? Why? Oh, why you always do this? It, it starts off so nice, and then I get hit with the seven of swords and the three of swords. It's like, okay, man. All right, so you're still manifesting, okay? Creating the life of your dreams. You're creating the life that you want, that you envision for yourself. Creating something out of nothing, in touch with the earth, in touch with Mother Gaia. You know how to use your resources, okay? You know how to create resources out of nothing. And I'm not talking about financial resources, I'm talking about basically anything, okay? You work with the earth. You might build with your hands. Maybe you work with your hands, I don't know. You put a lot of love and passion into it, okay? And that's... um. The magician is someone that masters all the elements, right? So you use your energy, you use the earth, you use your heart, and you use your intelligence to build. Now, I don't know if someone here is confused by your energy, okay? Maybe this is someone that's confused. They don't understand how something keeps growing for you, how you're manifesting this life, how you're manifesting growth and expansion and abundance and success. They're like, well, we've been trying so hard to ruin every single thing that this person loves and has been working on, but still they grow and still they expand and we just don't understand. It's because they don't understand energy. It's because they don't understand that they're so powerless, okay? <laughs> right? Okay, whatever. So what's this nine of pentacles? The seven of pentacles. Okay, so yeah, like Libra Taurus energy, like I said. Because seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles is giving me Taurus again from yesterday. Right? Um, whatever you have in your life, you worked your ass off for it. Okay? 
you didn't get to this level of the nine of pentacles empress by having shit fall in your lap and i feel like that's what people don't understand is how hard you've actually worked to get to where you are okay so then you have these little idiots <clears throat> oh god i've been <laughs> like this morning and last day i was like okay i need i think i need to stop with the the profanity and the um <clears throat> calling these people idiots and stuff like that but like then i get this shit and i'm like what else am i supposed to call them honestly look at them look at them i mean whatever so then you have these other people around you that think that what you have in your life or what you've acquired or the the pinnacle that you've reached is just because you're lucky or is just because it just i don't know like you just got dropped in and like boop, here's your life right no it's they think that it's easy to tear down but it's it's not because you've built a foundation okay so you built something from the ground up so there's a foundation underneath it there's a sturdy foundation underneath it so they can try and shake your foundation or try and hurt it or tear it apart but they can't break something that you have spent literally years building a foundation okay they might be able to come to your tree and like like let's say you planted a tree okay your tree has roots it's been growing they come to your tree and they're like mm. okay and then they're like oh yes all of the grapes fell off the tree we got them we got them we got them now they don't have a harvest it's like you idiot okay you sh okay you rattled the tree you shook the tree a little bit maybe for one harvest season there's no grapes coming off of it but this is a farmer this is someone who has spent years cultivating their craft this is someone who has spent years um taking care of the roots so this person knows okay one season was bad but the next couple seasons i'm going to be able to harvest again and that's what they don't get they're like huh but we rattled the tree but we rattled the tree, but all the fruit came off the tree. What, how is it that they're still sturdy? How is it they still have a foundation? How are you gonna take all that knowledge out of the farmer? It's still there. How are you gonna take everything that has been built over years, okay? They would have to come to the farm and take a bulldozer and like, destroy everything, but they don't have the means to do that. I mean, do you get what I'm saying? Because even if they do that, you still have it in you. You can just, you know, they, they, let's say they bulldoze all the trees out of your farm. Okay. And you look at it and you go, okay, well, then I'm going to have to start over. That knowledge is still within you. Then you might not grow trees. Then you're going to grow some sort of a brush that makes fruit faster. So you can sell it faster. You've still got it in here right and i feel like there's people that are just confused about why something is still going for you why it's still working for you not realizing that first of all you're a magician you're going to be able to make something out of nothing you're this is this is like a hustler okay i'm not talking about you know there's different kind of hustlers i'm talking about the mindset of a hustler it's like i can make something out of nothing if i need to right macgyver right i'm macgyver <laughs> basically okay how are you still this empress how, even if you're masculine doesn't matter it's just the energy of like being able to take mother gaia okay empress is like mother earth right it's you've mastered all of the queens of the deck meaning that you the mental is still there i'm just gonna say a farmer it doesn't even matter what you are but it's just the energy of you know, you still have the knowledge within your mind of what you need to do, how you need to do it. You've got the passion in your heart and with the cups, with the emotions to pour your heart back into your craft, what you've been working on for this in for all of these years. You have the energy within you because it's just your fire. It's just your energy. And you have the earth to create. So it's like.
they wanted you to walk away. Eight of Cups, they wanted you ab to abandon maybe something that you love, okay? Your career, what you've been working on. Maybe they got you to do that. Maybe they got you to turn away and walk away from something. But it's like, what they don't get is that you might have had to turn your back on a lot of things and walk away from a lot of things. Maybe even like opportunities. But you know that it's a season. It's a season of life. And see, I always, I can tell that like even the seasons of the months um, of a year, it kind of um, mirrors in my personal life, right? So I can tell that around this time, there's a lot of harvest. So then when you go towards the winter, things die down, things get quieter, okay? Things are a little bit, you know, there's a little less going on, there's a rebirth. And then in the spring, you know, you can feel it in the air. So you're thinking in seasons and you're thinking in long term and you're thinking in, well, if this season was a bad harvest, it's gonna get better. The future is gonna look brighter. And they. this is a part of spirit that they cannot break and they cannot take from you because it's something that you've cultivated over years, right? Hmm. Oh my God, yeah. 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 That's the truth, Ace of Swords, clarity. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's like these people, like, they they might have seen a dip in your success or in your, um, in your, um, maybe your income or what you were doing for a job and they thought that they were getting somewhere or they thought they were getting to you, but you just <laughs> maybe took it like a vacation. You're like, okay, well, if you guys want to keep, you know, fucking with my job, fucking with my career, fucking with my day, then we're just going to sit this season out. We're just going to sit the season out and maybe next season will be better. Okay. And they're confused. <laughs> Because one thing that they do not know about you is your resilience. You do not get to a point like this. And, and I feel like that's why it keeps coming out. Yes, since yesterday and today. You do not get to a point like this in your life without going through this first. You have to go through all of the stages of the growth, of the tree, of the planting, of the harvest to get to this. I don't know what they are thinking about you. There is a, there, this could be someone that's younger than you that thinks that they know more than you, okay? And they think they know more about business than you and they think they know more about career and growth. This person does not know fucking shit about hard work is what I'm getting. So they're looking at this and going, oh, you just got lucky. No, bitch, you, don't, you do not know what somebody went through and how hard somebody worked to get to this point and how much is in here. Like, it's just, somebody here does not understand your resilience. They don't understand how hard you've worked for what you have. They don't understand that, you know, there's a lot in between, like a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that goes into something like, you know, getting up every single day, working 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours a day, feeling like you're going, you know, you can't go on anymore, working 14 hour, uh, 14 days in a row. Like there's a lot of fucking work that goes into this, okay? And somebody here probably with their within their own business cuts a lot of corners, right? They, they're trying to get to the top as quick as possible without doing the hard work. So they don't understand a foundation that's so sturdy. It's because somebody didn't cut corners. Confirmation. Thank you very much, okay? So what's this three of wands? Yeah, you got a little spire. You got a little stalker here, look. Look at, the, look at these little children here. You got a page of swords and a page of cups. So you got some little kitties. You got little young-minded kitties, children around you, okay? Uh, not literal children. I feel like they're just younger energies that are just watching, watching where you're going, watching what you're doing, okay? You're over here in Empress energy, and then people you're dealing with are like pages. 
<clears throat> okay. Knight of Swords. Or it has something to do with information, communication, some sort of action being taken, I don't know, about your future. It's like, report back to me, boss. <laughs> Okay, they're like watching your progress. They're like watching what you're up to and then they, they, they're they reporting back to someone, okay? Like, what are your plans? What are you up to? What are you doing? Who are you, who are you connecting with? What's, what job is coming up? Which customer are you talking to? How much money are you making? Okay, boss, I'll report back to you, boss. There's like people watching you, watching what you're doing. Creepy. Whatever though. So tell me more about this empress. The Five of Cups. Oh, and they're sad. They're watching you. They're so sad. Oh, why? Why is this person so abundant and successful? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of got to laugh at them. Like, because you want to know why I'm laughing at them? Because I'm just thinking, like, if they would put this much effort into their own fucking life that they do into stalking someone else and obsessing. And the weird thing is, is that all, look, five, five of wands reverse, they can't compete with you. All morning, I had the song, Mariah Carey song in my head, obsessed. Why are you so obsessed with me, okay? Now I know why. Okay, now I know why. Because these people are obsessed with someone. They're obsessed with you. They could be even with the Empress, okay? Taurus, Libra, energy. I know that Venus is going into, isn't Venus going into Libra now? Yeah, Venus is about to go into Libra. I think tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So there's an air of like, maybe, maybe you will have Taurus, Libra in your chart or something like that. People are obsessed maybe with your beauty. They're obsessed with your abundance. They're obsessed with your success. They're obsessed with maybe just your energy, okay? The fact that you have this like Venetian energy about you, they're obsessed and they feel like they can't compete with you, right? So that's the thing, right? That's the thing with a lot of people that get obsessed with someone is when they feel like they can't, they can't compare, right? Which is, you know, that's just a thing that they're doing to themselves at the end of the day. If you feel like you can't compare to someone else, that's, that's something that you're putting in your own mind. It's not a comparison. We're not in a competition. You shouldn't be in a competition with anybody. I think that's kind of a, that's a, that's like a disease of the, of the society, right? Because everybody's unique. You're never gonna look like someone else. You're never gonna look like this, fit your favorite influencer on Instagram. You're never gonna be this person, but it's kind of like, we see other people and we think, oh, if I just looked like that, or if I just had this life, or if I just had that job, or if I was just this way, like that person. It's like, someone here feels like they can't compete with you, but you wanna know why? It's because they are spending so much time obsessing over you and your life, instead of cultivating their own, um, like their own path, but I, I, I almost wanna say like their own characteristics, okay? Because they have things about them that that they do better okay everybody has weaknesses everybody has strengths okay so let's say you're somebody that's very creative right because maybe you're an artist this person might not be an artist they might not be very creative but i'm pretty sure they have other skills that they do better than you because usually if you know if you're like a i don't remember what kind of a brain thinker it is but if you're an artist or creative person then you think like more with i think your left brain so this person might think more with their right brain so it's like you need to cultivate what you're good at instead of always looking at what you're lacking and that's what breeds this unhappiness right that's what breeds this unhappiness is when you're always thinking about what you're lacking or what you don't have you need to be grateful for what you got got because god gave everybody gifts Okay, God didn't, you know, create you and skip over you and go, no, you're not getting any gifts. Okay, everybody has gifts, but not everybody explores them and not everybody cultivates them or figures out what they are because we're so obsessed with somebody else's gifts. When at the end of the day, the only difference is that this person figured out what they're good at and they went after it and they cultivated it. 
right? So someone here is just looking at you and is sad and upset because they feel like you're you're so successful or why are you why do you have this? Why do you have that? Why do you have this life? Why do you have this job? Why do you have this beauty? Why do you have this Venetian energy? It doesn't matter what kind of a sign you are, it's just the Empress the Emperor's energy, this Taurus Libra energy, okay? And they feel like they can't compete. And it's sad because it's not a competition. We're not on this earth to, to be in a competition, right? Everybody is beautiful in their own way. And I feel like the real beauty, real, real beauty, it doesn't come from the way that people look, right? I mean, that's so... Unfortunately, that's something that's in our society. So I don't know why I feel like I need to talk about that for a second, okay? But, you know, we're kind of in this day and age where people are like, you know, we're filling ourselves up with filler, we're doing the Botox, um, we're getting all these procedures done and stuff like that because it's like this obsession with I want to look this way or I, I feel like I need to do this and whatever. So we place a lot of value on beauty, on outside beauty as a society, okay? Now, I'm not anybody that's against any kind of procedures if you feel like it makes you happy, like, you know, correctional stuff or whatever. But this filling up with filler, like, everybody, you know, you got to do what you want. It makes you happy, but... You know a little bit i mean i don't have anything done in my face but a little if people feel better doing it then that's one thing but this obsession it like it breeds the insecurity right and that's what i feel like is sad about it is that it comes from this place of i need to get this done because it makes me feel so insecure and then when you have it you don't feel better because the problem isn't with your face the problem is with your heart okay it's with the way that you see yourself it's with the way that you value yourself and um for example i've actually made myself the promise that i'm gonna grow old with wrinkles i'm never gonna get anything in my face and only because i want to stay in this energy of accepting myself the way that i am and the way that i age and if i have a wrinkle then that's then i'm gonna have a wrinkle but we have to you know accept ourselves the way that we are or else it breeds this feeling of insecurity and, oh, I don't like the way that I am. I can't accept myself the way that I am, right? So, you know, that's a pretty, that's a, that can be a pretty, like, fragile line, right? Okay. Um, but it's actually sad, it's actually a sad energy here. Like, I'm picking up on someone that just doesn't understand why you, and they feel like they can't compete, and they feel like they can't compare, and it's making them sad watching you, but also it's making them want to, like, tear you down, because they feel like it'll make them feel better, when in reality, the only thing that's going to make them feel better is when they start focusing more on their own life, cultivating their own gifts, following their own path, and um, reaching that that level of their own success, but also reward, right? Because the more that you follow your path, the more that you are rewarded on your own path, the more of those, um, what's it called? Those rewarding moments that you have, um, forgetting the word, fulfillment, right? You need those moments of fulfillment. That's what like really um, strength, strengthens your confidence. So there's some distorted, it's not even jealousy. It is jealousy, but this is already, this is past jealousy. This is actually going into some form of like, like I almost want to say self-hatred, okay? And depression. Because I can feel that someone here is turning it on themselves and and like they're they're losing sight of the fact that they're so focused on someone else that they're they're losing their own value like they're not focused anymore on their own value and what they have to offer or their own self-worth and that's actually what's making them so sad is that they feel like they're worthless next to someone else and that's not true at all because they feel like they can't compare, they feel like they can't compete, but that's not even what this, what it should be about in life. It's like, it's actually very sad energy, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually sad. The chariot. Maybe because you're moving forward in your life or they see that how determined you are. 
So that could be another thing. It could have something to do with your, like your willpower in life, your determination, um, your resilience, your strength that you just don't give up. You keep powering through. It's kind of like, it's kind of giving me like someone that was hoping like, you know how some you know how sometimes when people have like um, a lack of confidence or a lack of self worth, like if they trip in public, they feel embarrassed. You know, like you feel like self conscious conscious. You um, you wonder if like oh, did anybody see me? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. But people that have a lot of confidence and a lot of self worth, even if something embarrassing happens in public, they just shrug it off and it's like oh well fuck okay whatever keep going. I feel like something like that has happened with this person, but where they tried to trip you on purpose because they thought it would make you feel embarrassed. And then they watched you shrug it off and keep going. And it made them feel even worse because that would have embarrassed them and they would have felt, it's kind of giving me like, okay, like, like this is the kind of person that's very self-conscious, okay? They're very insecure. I can feel that in their energy. Like if they were wearing a white t-shirt and they got like a stain on it from some food that they were eating, they would feel so self-conscious all day long. Like it would, it would like mess with their mental state that they had to walk around all day with a stain on their shirt. Like it would make them feel really conscious of like of their self. So, this is the kind of person that will walk up to you then and then they will like like put a stain on you because they think it'll make you feel bad but you just look at it and go oh fuck whatever okay well what am i gonna do okay something like that and they're watching you just push forward and you don't really care because you don't really you have when people have so much confidence that nothing embarrasses them anymore it like that there's something here where this person, the person is like, how, how are you not embarrassed? Like your resilience to move forward is like really messing with them. Like, especially your confidence. Okay. What's the magician? Because they're realizing that they don't have this in the two of swords. They don't, I feel like they don't understand. Okay. How you're doing something, how you're this master magician or this master manifester or with the magician, it could even be like um, alchemy, okay? Like how you can alchemize energy like that, right? Maybe even things from the past, like the Six of Cups, it can even be about like um, past memories, like cringe memories where other people would look back and go, oh my God, cringe, right? But you've alchemized a lot of, I mean, even though the Six of Cups in the, is in the upright, it's even giving me trauma a little bit. Like, um, you were able to turn some sort of really traumatic memories. You were able to transmute that pain in some way, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. And a lot of people go through trauma in their life and they they can heal it and they can kind of get through it but when they think about it it still triggers them or it's not ever fully like i feel like somebody's seeing with you that you you not only healed a traumatic memory that you went through but the scar is gone it's like the wound is closed it's scarred over and then the scar has now been like lasered off and they're like where's the Where's the memory of that trauma? Like, where is it within you? And they can't find it. And it's, it's another thing I feel like they don't, they don't quite understand. The six of pentacles. Six, six. What's the six of pentacles? The girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used how interesting being charmed or used coming out with the six of pentacles this could have something to do with over giving okay giving to people that um are charming you or using you right enabling and boundaries what's the six of uh, what's the magician 
the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child. How interesting, because I just, that was, that's what I meant with the Six of Cups, the past. Healing the inner child, okay? Healing your inner wounded child. And part of healing your inner wounded child is by imagining yourself as a child, right? I mean, I've, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've been to um, trauma therapy, okay? And that was one of the things that was taught to me um, and I also did a lot of hypnosis therapy, right? Where I was supposed to imagine myself as a child. And then I was supposed to imagine myself being there for my younger child, right? And, but that's how you can kind of heal that a little bit, but I'm not gonna go into that, but that's just what it triggered in me, this memory for some reason. So I don't know if someone here has also been through something like that, okay? But you had to heal your inner child and you did, okay? Now, this has something to do with being charmed or used, and I feel like it has something to do with letting, um, allowing abuse, okay? Especially with enable and boundaries, allowing abuse. So if you're somebody that has been through a lot of abuse in your life, okay? Um, or let's say people overstepping their boundaries with you, then you get kind of used to giving to people even when they hurt you right? Like you get very forgiving, okay? Um, you, 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 but it's kind of like conditioning. Honestly, it's more of like a conditioned behavior where because you're dealing with an abuser and you're trying to like, you're trying to like smooth things over, you're trying to navigate a personality type that is very they are a user, okay? They're somebody that doesn't respect boundaries. You tend to give in a lot or give a lot because it you get conditioned to think that your this behavior will be rewarded in better treatment, right? Like you will be treated better by someone if you give a lot for, of you because if you don't give, then they get nasty right then you get the then you feel like you're not loved then you feel like you're not um this person doesn't love you or you're not the favorite or um you're not good enough because you're not giving but that's actually totally abusive because you should be worth something even if you're not giving you should be good enough even if you don't give anything right you shouldn't be good enough for someone just because you give to them and that is a learned behavior that has to be unlearned, right? So there's someone here that might not understand your, your strong boundaries now, especially why you don't give anymore. Because I, you might have learned as well, like I'm not gonna give if I feel like this is abuse. Why should I be giving to an abuser? Because at the end of the day, all that's going on is somebody being used for this empathetic, and nurturing and giving side of you, right? Because if you're empath, narcissist paradigm, you're most likely, if you're watching my video, you're most likely the empath, right? Where you're very empathetic and you're very sensitive and you're very giving naturally, okay? But we have to be careful as empaths that we're not giving because we fear the abuse of the narcissist, right? So that has something to do with healing the inner child, especially if you grew up around a narcissistic parent or you dealt with maybe even in your teenage years a lot of very abusive narcissistic partners, okay? That formed some sort of like a relationship dynamic for you, especially if you were younger, where you felt like you had to give or else you would be abused, right? So that's something here that, because the other card that came out here was karmic relationship, letting go and loving you, right? Letting go and loving you, giving to karmic relationships. So what is it that someone here doesn't understand here? Two of Swords. Someone doesn't understand that have faith, love is coming. Surprise, imitation, or meeting Cupid's arrow. Or is this what they were trying to block? Is this something they were trying to block? Or is this something that they don't understand? 
I feel like they don't understand how you are still, um, so, why you still believe in love, honestly. Three of Wands, the Fool, and the Knight of Wands, it's kind of giving me like, someone here doesn't understand how you are still so like lighthearted and free. Why do you still have this light heart? Why do you still have this, um, it's kind of giving me a little bit of like hopeless romantic, okay? How are you able to just like move towards love in this passionate and like young spirited way? You just, you're carefree. You're like, bring on the future. We'll just see what happens. You're just, someone here doesn't understand how you healed your heart from some sort of trauma. That's what I feel. They don't, there's something here that's like, what the fuck? Someone like you, what you went through in your life, the kind of pain and trauma that you dealt with in relationships, the kind of heartbreak that you went through, you should be scared of love. You should be scared of trusting someone. You should be so fucking terrified of loving again. You should be running away from people. You should be, you know, isolating yourself and never wanting to love again. You should be I mean, the kind of heartbreak and pain and trauma and abuse that someone has gone through here with, I feel like, multiple relationships. Multiple relationships. I feel like relationship after relationship after relationship of abuse, narcissism, neglect, emotional neglect, heartbreak and pain, deceit and betrayal. You should be someone that is fucking terrified of being in love. Why the fuck are you so passionate and ignited and carefree and like let's think about the future and i'm ready for love and i i'm so like people someone's not understanding your heart it's kind of what i'm getting how is your heart so light and carefree how are you so ready to love again how are you st still going towards some sort of passion when you should actually be fucking terrified of love you should be terrified that someone's gonna break your heart and deceive you and and abuse you again it's like yeah, heartbreak and confusion. Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Someone is confused. They're like, your heart should be broken into millions of pieces after what you've gone through. How are you the way that you are? How was it that you've gone through so much, but you look like, where's the scars? Where's the scars? Where is the proof that you even went through this? How, how are you this healed? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you an alien? Okay, like that kind of energy, right? Someone does not understand how you healed your heart. The Hank man. Nine of Cups, yeah, they think that you should be unhappy. I'm telling you, Nine of Cups in reverse and the Hank man. Somebody thinks that you should be in this like this waiting energy, okay? You should be unhappy. You should be hanging there and going like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to love again. I don't know if I'm ready for love. I feel like I'm not ready. I just, I can't trust you. I don't know, I'm so unhappy. I just feel like it's not gonna work. Like someone wants you like that, okay? Now what's the Seven of Cups? They're confused about your Wheel of Fortune. The, they're confused about your Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands because they're like, you should be so fucking burdened. How is it that you just keep going, okay? How is it that you just keep carrying this burden? It's like, I feel like that's what they don't understand. They think that this is how you should be. You should be like this. You should be carrying this burden, feeling like you aren't gonna make it through and it's just so much and you're just so overwhelmed and I've just been through so much trauma and my life has been so hard and I feel like I just can't take it. It's, oh, so much for one person. This is how they think you should be, right? And they're like confused, like, how the hell is this person in the fool energy, like, so, oh, I'm so carefree. Everything is so beautiful. Oh, it's a new world, it's a new day. I feel no burden at all. I feel light and airy and free. They're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> they don't know how you got rid of this burden. How did you heal this? The high priestess, yes, that's exactly what this energy is. I can feel it too. They don't, they don't get it. 
I feel like this might this might even be the person that like like I said tripped you up or tried to put a stain like a coffee stain or tomato sauce on your t-shirt and they're like anybody else would have like lost their shit by now you've been through so much you've dealt with so much pain so much abuse everybody around you has betrayed you you have no one i keep tripping you up i keep ruining this for you why the fuck are you not walking around like everything is horrible like who are you they don't get it soulmates in reverse yeah they've been trying to ruin your soulmate connection your partnerships or this is someone that is not a soulmate of yours this is someone that um you're not in some sort of a connection with anymore and you're the phoenix rising you are the phoenix rising and this person does not understand it's like how are you the phoenix rising how did i burn everything that you love down to the ground how is it that you lost everything and you are the phoenix rising from the ashes since when are you a phoenix? That's the thing, I think the other thing that this person doesn't, doesn't understand is they thought that they they were gonna, you know, do this and do that and do this and attack this and attack that and uh, turn this person against you and ruin your job and make you poor and this and that. They thought that, they didn't think you were a phoenix. They didn't see this in you. And now they're watching you rise. And it's, it's you're rising even more... Um, you're rising like a phoenix, okay? Like the bird, right? This majestic, beautiful, in red, yellow, like you're just flying and you're just free and you're just burning away all of the pain that you've been through. And you're like, I'm building a new world and it's gonna be beautiful. And they're like watching this like, what the fuck, okay? And before then you could have been a caged bird, like even better, you were a caged bird, okay? These people caged you like a little sparrow and they thought you were like this little cute little sparrow bird in a cage okay and they thought that they were gonna like pluck all out all your feathers out that's how they started okay in a caged bird you couldn't do anything except for you know trying to fend yourself and they're like plucking out your feathers and they're yelling at you and they're trying to you know make you go crazy in this cage they're trying to make you go crazy in the cage feeling like you can't get out torturing you tormenting you and all of this and all of a sudden you know they try to put fire to the cage right they think that they've got you in a trap they're gonna burn you down and here comes and there's a butterfly that just came by and say hi and all of a sudden through the fire this phoenix emerges and like breaks open the cage and it's like woof, and it's like like a like a like a mystical creature right and they're standing there this tall and you're like this above them i'm the phoenix <laughs> i'm getting this whole visual right now right because also i'm seeing like something in this dark room right and they're just you're this little caged bird in a dark room and they're like kink 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 and they've got the flashlight and they're like putting it in your face and all of a sudden the phoenix rises and you are the lights right you are the light in the room and they're like oh, like scared of you okay you went through some crazy transformation here. You went through a rebirth, okay? You had a rebirth. You transformed your whole life and they are looking at you confused. They're like, what the fuck is, what did we create? Yeah, what did you create? What did they create? They didn't create you. They didn't create you. They didn't make you. You've always been this, but for the first time, they are witnessing with their own eyes your <clears throat> determination, your resilience, your strength. Because like I like circling back to the very beginning, these are people that did not see this. They didn't see your life path. They didn't see with their own eyes everything that you've been through. They didn't witness you going through the trials, the tribulations, the abuse, the long nights, the long days, the hard work, um, the bad relationships. They didn't see how much strength this created in you. They didn't see how all that bullying in school and all that moving, moving to different neighborhoods and everything that you went through, they didn't see what that made you, right? 
they only thought that, oh, you're just this lucky, fell in your lap. Oh, you're only successful because your parents helped you. Like that kind of shit, right? Like they didn't see what was actually within you until they poked, poked, poked you and it went woof. Like then they saw it with their own eyes and now they're confused, okay? Now they're confused because also engagement ring in reverse it's like something about a partnership in reverse soulmate connection in reverse okay something about soulmates in reverse partnerships in reverse they didn't want you to have a partnership they didn't want you to have a soulmate connection or what is this why is soulmates an engagement ring in reverse yeah they didn't <laughs> look at this this is how they wanted you a little caged bird with no help that is exactly what they wanted for you a little caged bird Okay, that's the five of pentacles. That is literally the five of pentacles. That energy. And now they're confused. What? Okay. So what's the sign of pentacles? The devil in reverse. Yeah, you freed yourself from anything that was holding you back. Okay, you are free from toxicity. You are free from some sort of chains in your life. But I feel like you freed yourself. This is you breaking out of that cage broke out of that cage that people try to put you in okay they try to bind things to you they try to um keep a, a bondage on you you broke the chains and you did it all by yourself nine of pentacles yeah you closed out a major cycle in your life and you left it behind you you did it you closed a major cycle here and you freed yourself this this freedom here from this devil energy, when you broke this chain, when you broke this cage, you started a new cycle in your life. A new cycle in your life. So what was this chain that was broken here? What is the devil in reverse? What is the chain that was broken? With an emperor. A chain was broken with an emperor. Two of Pentacles. This person was keeping you in a in a bind. There was an ember here that was keeping you in some sort of lack. They were keeping you in a. They were they were keeping you in this like in this back and forth like the Two of Pentacles is not stable, right? It's a back and forth. It's a trying to make multiple things work at the same time. It can be financially struggling. It can be you trying to get on your feet, but you're not quite getting there, right? This could have been someone. I don't know if the Emperor is a boss, if it's a father figure, if it's who the emperor is for you, okay? This person was intentionally trying to keep you in some sort of struggle, right? The two of pentacles is a struggle. So this might have been that abuser, right? It could be a father figure, stepfather figure, someone like that. This is a very, they're coming out as the emperor, but this is the person that you broke free from. This is the person that kept you in a cage or they tried to. They attempted to anyways, and they wanted to keep you in this struggle, right? But you broke free and now you're the empress, okay? And they don't understand how you did this because this person doesn't even fucking know you, okay? The magician in reverse. This might have even something to do with your confidence, magician in reverse. Somebody that's a magician in reverse, this is someone that's not confident in their own craft. You're not confident in what you can create. This was somebody that wanted to make you feel like you're only ever going to be that caged bird. You're never going to be anything special. You're never going to be able to break out of that because there's nothing special about you. You're, you don't have the capability to create. You don't have that spark within you. But that's that's telltale of an abuser they want to keep you small they want you to feel like you have to doubt your self-worth like you don't have that confidence so maybe that's another thing that this person is like flabbergasted by is your confidence is your self-worth because they tried so hard to destroy this part of you to destroy this in you they don't want an abuser never wants their victim to feel like they're worth anything because it'll make them feel strong in their own right and in their own power, right? Yeah. So what's the seven of pentacles? 
The two of pentacles. Yeah, this person tried to keep you struggling. Struggling, 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 right? In this, in this constantly like, oh, it's so hard to make ends meet and I can barely pay my bills and it's so hard for me to create abundance. It's so hard for me to get things going because as soon as I got money, I got to invest it. And as soon as I get money, I got to pay this. And I just, you can't get by. That's how this person wanted you in like a constant state of like trying to make things work out. Just struggling, struggling, struggling. Page of Wands. It's page of Wands. The Two of Cups. Because of a relationship. Because of some sort of investment into a relationship. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. So this person was trying to keep a wound open within you, okay? There was someone around you that was trying to keep this wound open. The wounds, like I said, the trauma wounds, the wounds from past hurt and past pain within you. So that, you know, you maybe you can't move on to a healthy relationship because there's always this wound that's inside of you. Like with the energy over here, right? Where this person, someone here around you is like confused. Where's the wound? Where's the wound? You're supposed to have a wound. You're supposed to be unhealed. You're not supposed to believe in love. You're not supposed to want to invest in love. You're not supposed to want to... Uh, want to build with love like what the fuck you're, you're supposed to be broken hearted and not wanting a relationship and never believing in love again like why are you going towards a relationship now right eight of cups sunglasses in reverse watching looking stalking in reverse why is that in reverse sunglasses with the eight of cups Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So someone here didn't want something to work out for you. But the Eight of Cups is almost even giving me like the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person wanted you to be defensive towards someone, okay? Even with like watching, looking, stalking, this is kind of giving me like... Um, Like they wanted you to walk away from someone because you feel intimidated, right? With watching, looking, stalking. It's like they want you to walk away because you don't want to be stalked anymore. Like this is an, this giving me intimidation tactic, scare tactic. Um, like, like those kind of relationships where um, let's say you're dating someone and all of a sudden this abuser, this harasser starts stalking and um, harassing your person to the point or somebody around them, you're dating someone new and someone around them just won't leave you alone and they're like stalking you and harassing you and excluding you and making you feel, feel really nasty to the point where you just end up walking away because you're just you just don't wanna deal with the abuse, right? You just don't wanna deal with the harassment and the stalking anymore. It's like. People were using these tactics to like try and force you to walk away, right? They're using harassment, stalking, um, excluding, like really nasty behavior towards you, trying to force you to walk away from love. Like they wanna force someone to just give up on love, stop working on love, be defensive towards someone, like walk away from love already. Why do you still believe in love? Why are you going towards new love? Why are you going towards a new relationship? So weird. What's the three of wands? The nine of swords. So what? They wanted... Who, who's this? Nine of swords. Temperance in reverse. So, yeah, but who is this? Is this how they wanted collective to feel? Or is this the person that's, that's abusive? It's a king of cups. So now there's a king of cups here. So I don't know if this is you or this is your abuser. Take it how it resonates. But someone here is now really, really stressed out, really worried, okay? Stressed out, worried. And they feel like they can't heal from something. This person is imbalanced. 
with the king of cups even if it's not a water sign in the nine of swords this person might have mental illness okay temperance and reverse the nine of swords that could be mental illness that could be some sort of anxiety or depression that you feel like you can't heal from extremely mentally imbalanced okay why why is this person mentally imbalanced about the future here because of happiness because of the sun because of happiness because of truth why why is this person so because you're still going towards happiness yeah sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation so someone here could be receiving some sort of so sudden change or shocking news something is suddenly changing here and it's making someone feel emotionally imbalanced or mentally imbalanced because of somebody's plans for the future maybe what's the three of wands It could be that you're still going towards your happiness, right? You are still planning towards the future. You're still going towards happiness. The hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So you're not, you are not going to stop working on something or working on yourself or um, rebuilding yourself or being persistent. It kind of, it's kind of giving me your resilience again from the beginning. You are too resilient you are too determined, you are too focused on your life and your future and going towards happiness. They are trying to break your you down, okay? Stop being happy. Stop going towards happiness. Stop wanting love. Stop believing in love like that. But you're, you're too persistent. You're still moving forward here. And someone here is reminiscing about something, okay? What's the sun? Ugh, I cannot even make it up. Yeah. You're still going towards love. You still believe in marriage. You still believe in love. You want to be happy. You're going towards happiness. You're going towards a marriage. You're going to be happy. You're going to believe in love. You're not going to let your past trauma hold you down. You're not going to... Um, you're working on something with someone. You're fixing... Um, your wounds, okay? You're not gonna let past pain hold you back from your future, right? And that's what these people did not expect. They thought that you were gonna be so heartbroken by love that you are never gonna move forward. You are never gonna believe in love. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, that's how they are, obviously. This, is, this reflects them because these are the kind of people that they must have been through some sort of trauma and now they don't believe in love anymore. They don't believe in love. They don't believe that they're going to be happy. They don't believe that they're going to find the one. And they're look, they're, they did not think that it was, this would be you. Okay. Now what's the page of cups? The nine of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Justice. Yeah, this is them watching you. These pages watching you be abundant here and justice and the king of pentacles and an emperor. King of pentacles and emperor. That's so curious that these two cards come out together. Huh? Who is this? Justice, because it's coming out with justice. The justice, justice, king of pentacles and the emperor. That's curious. Why did this person just pop out here at the end of this reading? Great fortune in reverse because these people are now concerned that they're not getting a great fortune. Uh-huh. Oh, they're in despair about court. They're in despair. About court. A family room in reverse. Who is this King of Pentacles, Emperor? Imprisonment. Who is this King of Pentacles, Emperor? Main female in reverse. What the heck is this now? And it has something to do with someone's occupation.
coffin. Something is over now. What's over? A main mail in reverse. It's o something is over now for this main mail in reverse. For someone that was trying to stop something for you. A gr and it, they're not getting the great fortune. So something is over for them now. They're not getting some sort of a great fortune. They might be stuck now. Trying to do with some sort of information or communication here. Yeah, this, these false people here, they're in their thoughts now. There's a false person that's in their thoughts now. Yeah, someone who definitely has mental illness. Could be a king of cups that has um, extreme mental illness, okay? Because now they feel like they're not going to get great fortune. Now they feel something is over for them, okay? Having to do with some sort of a... Some sort of a loving energy here. Yeah, they're sad. They're crying. They're sad, upset. They're crying here, okay? They're so sad that somebody here, a king of swords, okay? A king of swords is crying now. Sad and a king of cups. So there's a king of swords and a king of cups who are going to be crying now, okay? They're going to be crying now, these two gentlemen. Because, oh, because they're going through a tower. Yeah, they're about to go through a tower and they're going to be crying all they're going to be stuck in their own mental illness okay these two because they thought they were going to be getting great fortune but now something is over and it's ending for them because you're still going towards love and there's nothing they can do to stop you even though they tried so hard right they tried so hard to mess with your resilience your strength your um relationship your love life who knows what these people have done they have been very persistent with their mental illness trying to get in your way okay very men heavily mentally ill these masculines are okay they're very mentally ill because they have you know these are abusers very abusive people yeah but you're not gonna be dealing with this burden any longer okay you're not dealing with the burden you're not burdened you're not dealing with the burden. You're not burdened. It's not your burden to carry. It's their own, okay? And they're not going to be putting this burden on you. If they're trying to burden your heart, they're trying to weigh you down, they're trying to make you um, run away from love, make you heartbroken and sad and uh, get in your way, it's not going to work. You're still going to be, be who you are. You're going to stay who you are, okay? Page of Swords. You're going to move forward in your life here. The Hierophant, yeah, and they're getting they're getting some sort of communication here about maybe a marriage, okay, that you're going towards marriage, that you're going to get married, that you're going to have love. I don't know what they're so, <laughs> it's a tower for them, they're terrified. Oh yeah, they are, I just said that, yeah, they're terrified, look at them. Like I said, these are masculines that are completely mentally ill, okay, they are very mentally ill. And now they are terrified with this news that you still believe in love and you're still going to get married and you're still going to go after um, your happiness and you're not going to let, let people get in your way. Okay. And they're under judgment. And that is the final judgment. Okay. And that's the final judgment. They cannot place judgment over your life or decide who you're going to be with, who you're going to love, if you're scarred, if you're hurt. It's just, it's not going to work. Okay. I don't know what they were thinking, okay? It's kind of insane to me, but whatever. I'm just gonna leave it at that collective. Let's see here, who are you dealing with? Who is this meddling in the collective's life, huh? An Aquarius is meddling in somebody's life. A Scorpio could be meddling. A Cancer could be meddling, okay? So this King of Cups could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. King of Swords could be an Aquarius. Yeah, they don't, oh my God, look, you're an Earth, you Earth Angel. You might end up being someone's wife. And what? And they're like, no. <laughs> that's, that's funny. 
That is actually funny here. A husband, and you're going to have a husband, or you are going to be a husband, okay? Maybe you'll be a husband. Gemini. One or the other. In-law. You're And these people, maybe they're your in-laws, and they're like, we don't want you in the family. <laughs> Something like that. A gang member. Yeah, it's a gang. We don't want you as a member of the family. <laughs> the IRS. The IRS. Huh, random. Someone's parents or grandparents here, and somebody is an accomplice, okay? Or someone had an accomplice. Maybe they got an accomplice in the IRS here. It's a boss, okay? And maybe even an investigator. A Libra, all right? Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye.